you're looking to find out how do I turn on the heat on my heat miser unit, then watch this video. Hi there, I'm James, one of the directors at Astralumos, and today I'll be talking about how do I turn the heat on my heat miser programmable thermostat. Um, so first things first, a programmable thermostat is not sort of your conventional rotary thermostat like um, most houses have. Um, where the timer is in a separate location and actually the thermostat is just controlling the temperature. Heat miser, especially the heat miser Neo version 2, which is probably the most common one we install um, for our clients, um, is a self-contained programmable thermostat. So what that means is that each wall location, so generally in a underfloor heating house, um, you'll have multiple zones and that's just the most efficient way to heat a, a home or any sort of building with underfloor heating. And each zone will have a corresponding thermostat. Each thermostat then in turn controls its section independently from the rest of the house or the space, um, whatever sort of office you're or space you're trying to heat. Um, and so a programmable thermostat just allows that. So each area, uh, such as a bathroom or a hallway or an office uh, can be independently timed and to a certain temperature uh, irrespective of whatever the rest of the house is doing. Um, so on a programmable thermostat, specifically the Heat Miser Neo version 2, which is the one we most commonly fit, um, to turn up the heat, simple, uh, you've got four buttons along the bottom you've got uh, five buttons in fact you've got tick left right up down and it's simply a case of pressing up you'll see the desired th the desired temperature start increasing uh, and then you'll see a little flame icon telling you that the boiler is firing and the heat is coming what this does is basically it'll raise the temperature uh, and basically just sit there until the next timing section of the next program clicks in and then it will revert to its current programming the other way you could do it is um, if you use the left and the right arrows you can scroll along to hold press the hold button it then gives you a time that how long you want to hold that temperature for um, so for example maybe Christmas Day you want the house to be warm and cozy you can hold that temperature for the whole day so that um, it ignores the current programming of let's say on at nine and then off at uh, on at 6, off at 9, on at uh, 4 p.m., off at 9 p.m., that sort of thing. It'll ignore that programming and just hold the temperature for your set number of hours. Um, what we do for our clients is we often, uh, when we are specifying systems, we would specify a NeoHub because that then just gives our clients an extra bit of control via the HeatMiser app. Wonderful piece of kit, uh, really useful, really easy to use. It also allows um, those of our clients that are a bit more jet set -y and traveling, um, make sure their house isn't heating when nobody's in, but also on the flip side, you can pre-warm your house ready for your return so you don't have that uh, cold chill as you walk through the front door, especially in the UK um, during winter times when that's probably quite common. So that's how we help our clients out by just using the HeatMiser system via the HeatMiser hub, the Neo hub, just making sure that the system is working exactly as they want it to. Uh, currently, the HeatMiser Neo version 2 comes in three finishes, white, black or grey. Um, personally, we found that those three finishes are enough to get by with most applications. Um, however, something that we do for our clients in particular is actually not put the underfloor heating controls right next to a switch um, and that way you've never got that sort of are we going to be able to match it maybe not uh, we generally sort of put them out of the way so they are still in a convenient position um, but they are never close to a light switch or a socket or anything that you then have to worry about trying to match the finish um, those are just a few tips that we use for our clients. Um, if you've got a underfloor heating control or you've got a heat miser system and you're not quite sure how it works or you need a bit of help, um, currently we've got a client who's just taken over a new house 
this big property with loads of underfloor heating. Uh, we're in the process of helping him revamp the system and get it up to exactly how and where he wants it and how he wants to use it. Um, so if you want us to maybe give you a hand or at least just point you in the right direction, reach out. Um, we've got a blog coming that will also dive into this a little bit. Or you can give us a call. Uh, number is in the comments.